Hey there, folks. I'm Rowing Postal, and we're back with Hand of Fate with our first attempt of possibly many to take on the final boss of the Again, game. Again, you face me. Again, you are a fool. Who happens to be the dealer himself. And he is full of fun curses. The dealer's curse is the player receives a curse at each new level of the dungeon. An excommunication, we cannot receive any more blessings. So that's just wonderful. Until now, I have shown compassion. You would be best to test me no further. As far as the equipment and the encounters go, the equipment is almost all the same, so maybe not as much new stuff. Um, uh, we do have the Blood Crescent, and I think we have, all right, we have Undead Bane, which we've had forever, and the Forbidden Armor. Um, but most of this is trying to stay alive, because this is only going to be harder than the King of Scales. The encounters, however, if it's got a token on it, we've got it in the deck. And then a lot of the other, uh, the ones that, you know, filler are a bunch of things that aren't blessings. Because we can't get any blessings, so, you know, awesome for us. Um, I'm also thinking that this old graveyard card only works when we do have a blessing, or enough blessings, so we'll put in... I'm not sure what. How about the Dead King's Hall? Chance for treasure and all that. So, uh, let's give it a shot, I guess. Ooh. That card was... Take 10 damage her curse. That'll be great. Ah, crap. I appreciate your ingenuity. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. Alright, so the difficulty of picking a successful chance card has been increased, so I assume that means it shuffles faster? Or maybe, you know, we just get one less uh, good card. It has finally come to this. I am tired. It has been too long. Yet life, life will not let the candle be snuffed. I want to know what lies beyond that door. Yet, I will not go easily. Okay, so, we will try to put him through that door. But, once per encounter, the player may choose to discard the randomly drawn monster cards and draw again. So, eh, I mean, we'll take Are it. Are sure that's the right approach? Oh, perfect then. And at the beginning of every battle, the old gods throw down thunder upon one of your enemies. And we promptly lose it because we can't be blessed at all. Okay, awesome. That's what I want. The treasure chest. Exploring a dungeon, we see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. Why not? It's early. We're in good spirits. That's why, apparently. Choose from these options. Holy crap! Oh man, learned my lesson. Never mind. Lucky number three. We approach the chest, battered and intact. What treasure might it hold? Let's attempt to pry it open. I got nothing. Oh, I'm glad I didn't go for three again. After a mighty heave, the lot gives way, and the spoils are yours. Four game cards, 20 gold. I'm sure you are grateful for that. What do we want? Uh, this is the one that lets us eat less, right? Yes, okay. We'll take that. That way, as we learned from last time, if we lose a shield, we'll have an extra shield. 40 gold? Alright, this is going well. 100 gold, sure. Why not? The world is but surface. Behind it, mysteries and wonders transpire. Alright. Down a dark alleyway in the slums of an ancient city, you find a door covered in strange markings. You knock on the door. A small creature opens it and looks up at you. Oh, alright. The house demon sniffs and says, Be gone, mortal. You have a taint of evil about you. 
but only the hellish lords and their truly accursed minions may enter this establishment. So we need to be cursed more? All right, yeah. Well, if you show up in a few floors, we'll, we'll be that. There's a token in it for you, if you You know win. what? Let's give this guy our food. We have 115 gold, we could buy all of it back. Yeah, screw it, 20 food. Have a crap load of food. When else are we gonna get this? Oh. Ah, oh, the priest ex exclaims and draws out a tarnished old ring. I'll, I, I'll have the kids polish it up first and in the meantime take my blessing. Well, we can't take your blessing. Thanks a lot. Ugh. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. Is that why you're not letting me have them? Even if it is a garbage blessing? You'll need more food, I think. Brilliant. All right, the traveling healer. We have no wounds for him to heal, except for the ones in our belly. Yeah, we're not selling. Oh my god. It's like... All right, now it's about what it normally is. This might take a little bit of time. 32 food. 33 food. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Oh, hush. Off we go. The Lonely Bard. I hope you don't well, want money, my friend. You gave him a story to tell. They like nothing better, I hear. One day on your travels, you meet a familiar face. The young man whom you helped escape town with his beloved. He's sitting under a tree, singing to himself. As you approach, you realize he stinks of ale, and his singing is a little too merry. He looks up as you approach. You! Haven't you caused enough sorrow? He stops to take another sip from a bottle. Thanks to you, we escaped the town. He goes on to explain... Ex Blaine, that once they were free of her father's pursuit, his beloved ditched him. <laughs> That's not my fault. Ah, for the first mercenary we met, if only we'd never left. He continues angrily. Now I must beg for coin to pay for my drink. Ten gold for a song. Or have you no pity for fools? No pity for fools. And no money for fools. The bard lays down to sleep as you continue upon your journey. All bards want money. Ah, oh, an uneventful first floor and a curse. All right. Another curse on the table. Let us see how you deal with it. If we ever get hit. Oh, it's just a shop. All right. I was gonna go there, but. Eh. Uh. It would be so easy to create a game that merely defeats you. I, did a you... game in which you stand no chance, also completely unfair. That is not how I work. I refuse to play in such a manner. Our game is fair, and you will be defeated fairly. You curse me on every floor, and there's cards in there that say take 10 health per curse. Yeah, that's fair. Does the background change, like the columns back here? Uh, maybe. All right. Oh, hey! Look who it is. Well, I don't know what we want to do here. Uh, I know a lot of the time we just tell the dad, but then he curses us, and what we really need is, like, a ninth curse. Can we just refuse to get involved? Will that just mitigate everything? Oh, someday my love will be free, the young man laments, returning to sing beneath the window. You're wrong. It will not. I have seen your future. Okay. You know what we Bring haven't this seen? And claim my token. Great news, Mr. Lyle declares excitedly, bursting from the back of a wagon as it passes you along a well-trodden path through a sunny meadow. That's descriptive. One of the Goblin King's sons has decided to challenge the old fool for his position as ruler of our people. Under goblin law, he can legally take his father's place if he can beat him in single combat. 
But the king, crafty slug that he is, has hidden the crown in the treasure vaults. Without the crown, the leadership cannot be resolved. There must be chaos in the capital. Ah, uh, yeah, get to the point. Anyway, the point is that the crown is in one of the treasure vaults. If we can find it, then I can use it to blackmail the king into letting me back into the city. How about it, friend? Uh, let's go find another vault now. That's the spirit, Mr. Lionel says, gleefully rubbing, rubbing his hands together. That crown is going to get me back to my rightful place. You lead the way this time. Me, I, I don't know where it is. All right. Hours later, you stand, staring through the doorway into another vault. Good luck, my friend, Lionel says, giving you a reassuring pat on the arm. Find the treasure chest. The crown must be in there. You pause for a moment, wondering if that was a voice you heard echoing between the traps. Lionel gives you a helpful kick to the rear, sending you through the doorway. Are there going to be enemies in the traps, and will we get our health back? Ooh. That was a bit loud. Ah, sorry, we didn't need to watch. Oh my gosh, this is... Oh, what the? Okay, alright then. This is... Interesting to say the least. I don't know which traps hit me. Did I... Was there a treasure chest? Did I run right by it? <laughs> Where's the crown? Goblin ca companion demands, springing out of nowhere as you exit the maze. What do you mean there are goblins in there throwing bombs at you? That's great news. The crown must be inside. Wait. They're probably moving the crown to another vault as we speak. You better try harder next time. I... Did I miss it? I... I don't even know like an idiot you cannot come to this table with debts outstanding <laughs> and no we don't get the health back of course we don't in a busy market town you're approached by a shopkeeper on the verge of losing his store oh man i mean i would give you 20 gold i but i can't shopkeeper sighs saying that i fear it will be the arena for me when i cannot pay my debts oh man i hope you're not in steagle that place is rough that is the place of the Citadel, right? Alright, hunting the Huntsman. I think we fell in this trap last time. And a token if you succeed. Oh, it's not difficult to track down a mad Huntsman who's on a crusade across the countryside in search of a mythical beast. He's been spotted interrogating tavern goers, accosting travelers in the woods, and closely scrutinizing various animal droppings. You hear that he recently left the small town of Thatchcross and was seen heading into the forest nearby. You follow a set of tracks that lead you to a leafy glade. Colorful autumnal debris blankets the ground. You stop dead when you hear a suspiciously loud snapping sound beneath your feet. Oh, well, hopefully it's not a huge failure this time. You catch the edge of the pit with a firm grasp and manage to haul yourself up onto solid ground. In front of you stands a grizzled veteran hunter adorned with many trophies from his kills. He moves with calm assurance, but his gaze pierces you like a dagger. I'm impressed you escaped my trap. In fairness, it was not designed for one such as you, but someone more substantial. Having spent so many years in the role of the hunter, it is unusual to find myself as prey. Let's share a drink at the tavern, where we can converse as men instead of tracking each other's footprints like beasts. We get a token for further adventures. Ah, back to full health and Head another curse for us. I do dare. Little pleases me more than watching okay. your attempt to wriggle away from bad luck. So whenever we lose a curse, we lose one random item. I can think of worse curses. And now we know where the exit isn't. I was left these simple pieces, and from them I have built a palace of memories. 
a convoluted maze that few will ever reach the end of. Uh, will you be one of them? Ah, uh, inshallah, that's the hope. Soldiers on leave. Soldiers lacking in all responsibility. No wonder the capital is under siege from all directions. In a busy town, you meet three disheveled soldiers. We got drunk last night, one of them exclaims, gambled away all our gold. And our helmets! Another joins in. We'll trade food for any helmets you have on you. Our captain's gonna have our hides if we turn up without them. Man, you are just lining these cards up so that I can't do them, aren't you? The soldiers lose interest in us because I don't have a helmet and harass every other armed person they see. Ah, oh, sorry. The hero of Embertown. You come across an injured adventurer whose battered and bloodied armor tells you he's seen combat recently. We ask him of his troubles. I've been chasing a pack of thieves that attacked my home village of Embertown. I killed some of them in an ambush, but I fear I lack the strength to chase the rest down. If you have any honor, you'll find these jackals and make them pay. Why not? Besides, it might have gold or food on it. Or it will die at the All twilight the ritual. this table have searched for the spirits at one point or another. You rather less than most. Okay. You arrive back at the sacred stones as dusk falls. The robed druids are already waiting for you. Stand watch, warrior, while we complete our task. A storm rolls in as the now familiar chanting begins once more. A noise in the trees draws your attention and you quickly find yourself in battle again. What do we get? Scales and scales! Oh, right. A first fight of the day. Or something like red in color. Right, every time you parry them, they get really mad. Did not parry that fast enough. Oh, nope, nope. Can't parry that. I tried. Surprisingly didn't work. Stupid shields. We haven't killed a single one of them, have we? shooting at us. No fireballs today. There's one! Two! Right. Right. One of these days I'll remember that they get really mad when you parry them. Makes it kind of difficult to keep a combo up, but hey, we'll try. Stab him! There goes that. No thanks. Oh, alright. That was not terrible. I mean, it took forever, because they have more health now, but... Just as you butcher the last lizard, more of them rise from the waters. The druids pay no heed to the danger, and we have to fight or leave them to their fate. We're doing pretty alright, as long as we don't get the king and queen. I don't know why I said that every time I say things like that. You bravely approach the new threats 
weapon held high, and wade into the skirmish. Alright, this might take a while, but we should get through it. Oh, it could definitely be worse. Ah, now they're gonna spit fire at us. But they should have less health, so, you know. Not quite. Okay. I just got cream. Thought we were at 50 health. I don't know where that extra damage came from, but. Where that damage came from, at least. I just realized we're getting hurt. Okay, alright, yep, I'm an idiot. We get hurt when we attack the, uh, the fire spitters when you they kind of glow like that. Me. The cold that... embrace of death. And they the got something like fire armor, didn't they? Of new life. I thought it just meant that they had more defense, not that they would actually kill me. Oh, boy. Well, for the orphans, we're taking this out of the deck. Uh, seven food, ring of engorging. I, what, I lied. We're not taking it out of the deck. We're just replacing it. And for the white minotaur, the mug and barrel. Okay. <laughs> well, we've learned a little, and we will try again shortly. I hope to see you all there.